six small kingdoms of the world. The 20th century saw the fall of many monarchies and their replacement by republican forms of government around the world. There are still a significant number of countries and smaller political units that retain monarchies, however. These six countries are some of the smallest kingdoms of the world. Some are led by hereditary rulers, and others by leaders chosen by the people. 6. Wallace and Fortuna. The Polynesian islands of Wallace and Fortuna, with a total land area of just 54 square miles, 140 square kilometer, constitute a French overseas collectivity governed by a chief administrator appointed by France. But Wallace and Fortuna also comprise three traditional kingdoms that are still ruled by paramount chiefs chosen by their people. The most recent king of Wallace, Capilia Le Forpala, was crowned in July 2008 and removed from the throne by traditional leaders in September 2014. He was the latest member of the Takumashiva dynasty, which has ruled Wallace since 1767, with a break for the Kalitea dynasty in 1818-20. Fortuna has two chieftaincies, Sige, whose current king is Polikarlapo Kolovai, and Tua, which was recently without a ruler for four years until Patello C. took the throne on January 17, 2014. 5. Bhutan. Until the late 20th century, the isolated Buddhist kingdom of Bhutan, covering 14,824 square miles, 38,394 square kilometer, in the Himalayas, was an absolute monarchy. It had no law codes or courts, and the king ruled autocratically. In the late 1990s, King Jigme Singye Wangchuk relinquished his absolute power and encouraged democratic reforms. In 1999, the government of Bhutan allowed television broadcasting and internet use for the first time. 4. Tonga. The Kingdom of Tonga, made up of 170 islands in the southwestern Pacific Ocean that total just 289 square miles, 748 square kilometer, in land area, has been a constitutional monarchy since 1875. One of its most noted monarchs was Queen Salote Tupo III, who ruled from 1918 until her death in 1965. She was beloved not only by Tongans, but also by the people of Great Britain, to whose notice she came during the 1953 festivities in London for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Salote distinguished herself by her warm and dignified demeanor and her refusal to put the top up on her carriage as she rode through the rainy streets of London in the Coronation Day procession, smiling and waving to the crowds as she mopped rain from her face. 3. Brunei. The wealthy, oil-rich Islamic Sultanate of Brunei Jerusalem, on the Southeast Asian island of Borneo, has its sultan as both head of state and head of government. The Islamic Sultanate, which has a total area of 2,226 square miles, 5,765 square kilometer, was proclaimed only in 1984, for nearly a century prior to that it was a British protectorate. Beginning in 1990, the Sultan encouraged the people to adhere more rigidly to traditional Islamic principles, and in 2014, Brunei made international headlines for its adoption of the strict penal code of Sahariya, Sharia, law for criminal cases. 2. Lesotho. Lesotho is a mountain kingdom with an area of 11,720 square miles, 30,355 square kilometer, surrounded entirely by the Republic of South Africa, which has an area of 471,359 square miles, 1,220,813 square kilometer. The country, a constitutional monarchy, owes its existence to the Gun War, 1880-81, a South African conflict in which the Sutu people of Basutoland successfully fought for their independence after the kingdom was annexed by the colonial powers of the Cape Colony. The eventual result of the war was the Cape Colony's transfer of responsibility for Basutoland directly to the British government in 1884. Its distinct administrative status meant that Basutoland did not become part of the Union of South Africa in 1910, and it finally achieved independence from Britain in 1966 as the country of Lesotho. 1. Eswatini. King Swati III, the current ruler of Eswatini, area, 
6,704 square miles, 17,364 square kilometer, in southern Africa, was one of some 60 sons of King Sobuza II by one of his 70 wives. By his 40th birthday, King Swati had more than a dozen wives himself. The opulent lifestyles of the Swazi royal family pose a sharp contrast to those of the general population, which has a high prevalence of HIV, AIDS as well as hunger and poverty. Cattle are an important part of Swazi life. They not only provide work and milk, but also serve as a store of wealth and are given in bride price. The traditional center of Swazi life is the royal village at Ludzidzini, where the king has a sacred cattle kraal.